So we want to write a polynomial function based on the zeros of the polynomial. So what that means is we want something in the form y equals, and then different things in terms of x, um, and try to write the complete function rule based on what we know about its zeros. The zeros tell us where uh, y is equal to zero. So for example, we know that if x is negative 4, y is equal to 0, which is true when y is equal to x plus 4. If I put negative 4 into here, negative 4 plus 4 is equal to 0. Likewise, x minus 1 is equal to 0 when x is equal to 1, and x minus 2 is equal to 0 when x is equal to 2. So zeros, the values of x for which y is equal to 0, can tell us what our function is going to look like. Now, if I wanted to write this in standard form, I'd have to manipulate this uh, by multiplying together these little binomial terms to get uh, the full uh, polynomial in standard form. If I FOIL these two terms, I get this, which can be simplified to this. So now I need to multiply this trinomial by this binomial. Essentially that means x needs to be multiplied by each of these terms and then 4 gets multiplied by all of them. The first three terms here I get by multiplying x by the terms in the trinomial. The last I get by multiplying 4 by the terms in the trinomial. So now everything has been multiplied by everything else, and I can just simplify my like terms. So in standard form, y is equal to x cubed. There's only one x cubed term. Then I put together my x squared terms, and I get a positive 1x squared. I put together my x terms, and that gives me a negative 10x, and only one constant, so that gives me the 8. Therefore, what I did is knowing that these one, two, three numbers are solutions for this equal to zero. That's what a zero means. They're values of x which make y equal to zero. I can construct the function in standard form. I am basically done here, but just to show you what I mean, I'm going to put in one for x in my final equation in standard form. And if I've done it correctly, it should come out to 0, as it should for negative 4 and 2 as well. So for the example of 1, we would put in 1 for x. We get 1 cubed plus 1 squared minus 10 times 1 plus 8, uh, or 1 plus 1 minus 10 plus 8, which does in fact equal 0. Further evidence that this polynomial has these zeros, or put it differently, these values of x in this polynomial uh, cause y, the functional value, to be equal to 0. Thank you.